At a quick glance, you wouldn't think he was a dancer, a former star of the National Ballet, and now a pioneer in modern dance. And yet the eye is somehow drawn to him. There's a fluidity of movement, a presence, a physical grace that commands your attention. His name is Jean Gibault. But is he indeed on the forefront, taking the art of dance to a new level? Or has he simply gone to the dogs? What can you tell us about the early days, John? <laughs> what can I tell you? It was like living a fairy tale. I lived to dance. I gave to the art. The art gave to me. You were unstoppable. They called you the golden boy of ballet. <laughs> well, I got laid a lot. Compared to Barishnikov for his ability to complete astonishing leaps, John was Canada's golden boy of ballet. In 1992, John hung up his dance belt for the next 10 years. With no means of support, John fell into obscurity. When I dropped out, I spent a lot of time in parks, watching people and their dogs. After a while, I stopped watching the people altogether and just watched the dogs, because it was so much more interesting and, well, so much more honest. You know, the sniffing, the biting, the climbing on. You're lucky if you get two words out of a person when they meet. They just sort of avert their eyes and, you know, come on. Hey, hello, Chesty. And then I found Stuart, or I guess he really found me. And then it all made perfect sense. Dogs are a huge part of our culture. You know, man's best friend, a, a boy and his dog, dog eat dog. We have placed dogs into this cultural milieu, but we don't allow dogs any freedom of expression. In order to be an artist, to express oneself, I don't need to stuff my jock strap and dance with flat-chested women. I could create something entirely new. Jean, mm -hmm. why did you leave the ballet? Let me show you. Now, what does this say to you? That's first position. Now that says, uh, hello. How are you? Would you like a cup of tea? Now, what does this say to you? It says, ah, uh, fight me. Sorry, girls. You see, anyone can speak ballet, but only a genius can speak the truth. I have made an arrangement uh, with a company that normally supplies animals for scientific purposes. They will provide me with 24 dogs for each show so that we can keep the material completely fresh. To keep Canis fresh, John has gone to extraordinary lengths. May I dance with your dog? Are you crazy? What I'm worried about is that they will not be allowed to produce the art they're capable of performing. We have capture poles and shock collars, an electrified fence around the stage area. We wouldn't be getting any government funding if it were cruel, would we? It's all subjective. Isn't it? It's not something you can put your finger on or your, your foot on. It, if I wanted to put my foot on something objective, like dog for example, well then I wouldn't be creating anything new, would I? There are a lot of people out there who love dogs. 
and a lot of people out there who love dance. I think it's going to be the next big thing.